Hi Hearns, welcome back to our YouTube, or if you're new here, welcome to our YouTube. I am Bethan, this is Lauren, and this is Charlotte, and together we are Three Little Hearns. This week we are talking about body image. So a lot of things about how we're feeling, about putting ourselves on social media, etc, etc. There might be some trigger warnings, you will see those come up across the bottom of the screen before we talk about them, just because we care about you babes. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, just before we start doing the video, it's really, really hot. So if you see any Zulas, just keep it here. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I just hate starting the sentence. <laughs> Lately, I've been watching a lot of this channel on YouTube called My Thoughts Will Probably Avenge You. And the woman who runs it, she's called Michelle McDaniels. And she's a bodybuilder, but she used to be really big. And her channel is all about like calling out um, hypocrisies and the the fat acceptance movement and uh, body positivity. No. Body positivity. <laughs> Stop it. Pause it. Gin, gin, now that we're going to know we shouldn't really get it out with. I'll stop when you've been diagnosed. <laughs> Talking about like how much larger people hate on skinny people and vice versa and stuff like that. So I thought it would be a really good idea today to talk about how those things affect us along with things like you know when you see like a, a celebrity on social media and yeah. they look perfect and you're like oh god i wish i looked like that and i wish i didn't look like this well i thought it'd be really nice to mainly air my <laughs> my problems out and uh, share it with the people yeah. share it with the people Can I just quickly mention, just in case any of my subscribers are watching, I'm thinking about cancelling my OnlyFans because I've heard that they're stealing people's money. How much do you bet that men are going to find a way to make a joke about it and be like, oh, that's how you be. Are they saying that to the actual that they're using in real life, do you think? Do you know what made me think though about... He's shaming all these girls for having an OnlyFans account, but he's got one for his... He's got one for his persona that's been running since 2018. And so he's had it all the time that he's been slagging off all these women. Mm -hmm. Is that how he feels about himself? And that's why he's saying it. Cause he's done stuff that he would assume the women on OnlyFans have done. And he feels ashamed about it, I'm assuming, because that's the way he's projecting it. Talking about OnlyFans, yeah. I just want to mention that it's helped me enormous amounts. No. <laughs> enormous amounts. Amount. I'm gonna cry in a minute. Oh god. Should we just take a drink? Yeah. We're done. Talk. Oh no. Pass. No, I'm so sorry. I didn't realise that you were upset. I feel like we have a hypocrite as well because I go on to think good with other people to be positive about themselves and sitting crying down. I still, sorry, I just don't feel like I'm Okay, well, do you want me to read out the first question? I just don't want to talk about it. Any of it. No, I'll just act it. No, because then it's She's false. She's the empty. Yeah, I'm <gasps> sorry, let's just not do it. Either. 